Hi everybody, welcome to Agama. This is Rakesh. Today our concept is about what is angle of elevation and angle of depression. Today I am going to introduce what is angle of elevation and angle of depression. So here, if you look at this image, right? So this is a statue, and this is a man standing here, right? And uh, if you observe these lines here, right? So this line, this line is said to be horizontal line. What line it is? Horizontal line, or we can say it as eyesight. Horizontal line. So this line is said to be the horizontal line. Means whenever we stand exactly erect, and if we look exactly like this, this line is said is taken as. This eyesight straight exactly, which is parallel to the ground, right? Parallel to the ground. This line is uh, said as horizontal line. And when I just uh, make my eyesight to the top of this statue, means the angle from horizontal line to this it was changed. Okay. To this line, and this uh, line is called uh, line of sight. Line of sight. So this line has formed because of your sight changed. So this is said to be the line of sight, right? Line of sight. So the angle between this horizontal line and the line of sight is said to be angle of elevation. Uh, angle of elevation angle of elevation let's see uh, once again this is a horizontal line which we look always and this horizontal line is always parallel to the ground right and when we look at the top of the statue our uh, eyesight this eyesight is changed means at the angle has formed where when you look at the top this line is said to be the line of sight and here the angle which made in between the horizontal line and the line of sight is said to be angle of elevation in if the same man if the same man is standing here and uh, right so here as this is said to be the horizontal line but when he look at the top of this sorry bottom of this like foot of this statue when he if you would like to look at the foot of this statue again the angle has changed right so your angle has changed means uh, so then this is what we got this is what we got right and this angle the angle made between the horizontal line and this is also said to be the line of sight only this is also said to be line of sight the angle made between the horizontal line and this line of sight is angle of depression means when you look when the when your line of sight is at the bottom towards downwards from your the horizontal line the angle made between them is said to be the angle of depression angle of depression right clear the angle of elevation is high, uh, higher than your horizontal line then it is angle of uh, elevation right if the angle is higher uh, like if your horizontal line was changed to the line of sight like when you look uh, look at the top horizontal line and this is a line of sight means when you look at the top the angle was increased here like that uh, here this is said to be the angle of elevation now here when you look at the foot of this uh, statue means it is lower than your horizontal line means which is your eyesight then this angle is said to be the angle of depression before you watch the video subscribe it click on the bell icon for more notifications so simple when you uh, the angle made with the horizontal line towards the uh, higher level of this horizontal line 
means when you look at the top angle of elevation when you look at the foot of the statue and this is said to be the angle of depression and few more things we have to remember like for example it means when all the objects such as the towers trees sheep mountains etc whatever you take uh, means uh, when we get a tower which is 10 meters tall which is 10 meters tall when we get such things uh, remember that those all are represented like either it is a tree tree or a tower or a mountain we have to uh, take we have to represent them as a small line the height of the tree the height of the tower is uh, is represented with the line let us see how to uh, consider the uh, height of the tree height of the tower uh, with the next coming following this right now here if you observe this is a mountain so whenever they say as it, uh, the height of the mountain means we have to uh, take a perpendicular to the ground a line perpendicular to the ground like at the top at top of this to be taken as a one point top of this to be taken as a point right top of this to be taken as a point and to the ground and this is the ground so see that this should be perpendicular to the ground perpendicular to the ground right perpendicular to the ground it means if you observe see this is to be considered as a height this line which is in the red color in the vertical uh, vertical line this vertical line is uh, to be considered as a height of this mountain so whenever they say height of the mountain means we should uh, just draw a uh, vertical line we have to just draw the vertical line here a vertical line which is always perpendicular to the ground as it is to be so th this line uh, represent which is a straight line vertical line uh, to be represented as height and this is the ground It is always perpendicular to the ground in such a way we have to consider so remember let us go with one more representation here also now we observe this is a tower so the height of the tower means from the top top of this tower a point is taken and with that we have drawn a vertical line here and which is always perpendicular to the, to the ground means here also the height of the tower is represented with a, a vertical uh, line right let me take another image okay here now i have taken a image here and whenever they say the height of this uh, uh, taj mahal right the height of this taj mahal means see uh, at the top which is a top from this i have just drawn exactly vertical line drawn perpendicular to the ground right so remember that uh, whatever the line we draw it is it is take it is to be taken as a perpendicular to the ground right so that okay so uh, it, now this line is considered the height of this uh, uh, figure ta called taj mahal so let me take one more example also here we can see the this is a tree i have not just drawn exactly like this from this top i have just drawn the perpendicular line to the ground which is a vertical line and the angle of uh, uh, angle uh, like a vertical line and to the ground is always to be the perpendicular so whenever they ask us to whenever we get a problem uh, questions like whenever we get a questions like uh, height of the tree sometimes uh, height of the tower or height of the mountain see that not to draw the exactly tree and a mountain there just a line a vertical line to be taken uh, to be taken as a height of a tree or a height of a tower or height of the a man whatever it may be right so these are to be represented with the uh, this is is called like all objects such as towers tree sheep mountains etc shall be considered as a linear for mathematical convenience okay so and also few more things to be observed uh, let us follow and see now
let's imagine here this is a tower the vertical line is set with the tower and this is a ground okay and here the height of the observer means uh, the height of the observer is neglected uh, if it is not given in the problem it means if it is not given in the question so the height of the observer will be neglected okay so let's uh, see that now this vertical line is uh, let me imagine that this is some uh, it is like a tower so I'm just uh, imagining this is a tower vertical line is, ta is taken as a tower right so uh, this is a person who is standing here so this is his eye uh, so he is looking okay so here the height of the person is neglected the height of the person is neglected and this is his uh, eye so whenever he look uh, this exactly straight like this which is a parallel to the ground already we knew that it is a horizontal line horizontal line right now when i look at this top means my uh, line of sight is like this my line of sight is like this so this line of sight is uh, what no, so the angle between the horizontal line and this line of sight is said to be the angle of elevation means when uh, when my uh, line of sight is higher than this horizontal line so this is said to be the angle of elevation here I, the angle I express it with a symbol uh, theta right so now if I would uh, like to move towards a forward with the same tower when I would like to move forward means which was closer to this tower means if I would stand here if I would stand here again if I would stand here and this is my eye side uh, eye so now this is a horizontal line and now the angle of uh, means the angle of uh, elevation gets changed right so if you observe this is uh, theta uh, let's imagine let's take this as theta 1 which is angle of elevation higher than the horizontal line here also but as I move forward here also we can see here also we can see and uh, even this is also said to be the angle that is theta 2 now what is the difference between this theta 1 and theta 2 what is the difference between these two angles it's very clear as if you compare theta 1 and theta 2 when we are getting closer to this right when we, uh, we are getting closer to the tower okay uh, with the same horizontal line so that what happens the angle the angle gets increases the angle gets increases as we are getting closer to this the angle gets increases it means theta 1 is lesser than theta 2 or theta 2 is greater than theta 1 means when we are getting closer the angle gets increases the angle of elevation in this the angle gets increases if the same person if the same person like if this man is uh, trying to move towards to a little back from his position when he moves get a little back from his position for example if he, he moved toward this place if a man is standing here and this is his eyes okay and this he said to be the horizontal line now uh, when uh, when it when i move closer to it the angle gets increases when i is similar just with a simple observation when i move toward this position what happens we can easily understand that the angle the angle gets decreases the angle gets decreases so let this imagine as theta 3 it means when you compare theta 1 and uh, theta 3 as we are getting uh, more far away from this tower the angle gets decreases it means theta 1 is greater than theta a simple observation to be known so when we are getting closer when we are getting closer to the tower the angle gets increases when we are getting uh, far away from this tower the angle of elevation gets decreases so simple imagine and just remember this because this helps us to solve the problem uh, this is what introduction of uh, what is angle of elevation and what is angle of depression uh, how to represent a uh, how to represent a tower or a tree or a mountain and uh, how theta gets changes when we are getting closer or when we are getting uh, far away from the tower or a tree or a mountain something right 
थैंक यू आई होप यू ऑल एंजॉय फॉर एनी क्वारीज गिव अस अ मेल एट आस्क अगा मैथ एट द रेट ऑफ जी मेल डॉट कॉम थैंक यू